Greetings, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. Many of you may remember my video where I posted about the surprise in the 2019 proof set, the clan proof set. Well, I, in that video, I wondered if there would be any more surprises and other sets coming, and it looks like there will be. This was sent over to me by Silver Wolverine, and another a subscriber alerted me to it as well. But this is quite fascinating. Of course, we're wondering why the heck this is happening. Why are they making these special uh, Lincoln cents? Well, many people wondered why the heck would the U.S. Mint kind of uh, honor a 225th anniversary of itself in 2017. A little bit of a strange. Usually it's done in increments of 50 years. This one, I think, is because it is the 210th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. It's a little bit of a kind of a strange anniversary, but the next thing you know, they'll, they'll whittle things down to five-year increments for anniversaries, and uh, we'll see what happens. But these are going to come from the West Point Mint. They will be striking three special 2019 Lincoln cents here in this article from Coin World. The West Point is striking... 2019 Lincoln cents and three finishes for inclusion in separate packaging as premiums for three annual numismatic coin sets. T.V. Johnson, the director of the U.S. Mint's Office of Corporate Communications, confirmed February 25th to Coin World that a standard proof version will be inclu included separately in clear United States Mint plastic wrap with the standard 2019 set to be issued for $27.95 on March the 1st. The remaining 10 coins in the set will be enclosed, five coins each, and two individual hard plastic coin lenses. Those 10 coins will be struck in proof at the San Francisco Mint. Notice it, it misses the first year of the American Innovation Dollar Series. That is actually surprising to me that they would not include those. We've not heard anything about what those designs will be. So perhaps those sets will remain separate from the proof sets, which I think is a little bit... Uh, misleading because there are annual issues just like they were for the presidential dollar series. The standard proof sets coins exhibited frost devices against mirrored fields. The silver proof set will be issued on April 24th and it will be accompanied by in separate packaging as a premium an 11th coin a special reverse proof 2019 Lincoln cent. In contrast with the standard proof finish reverse Proof coins exhibit mirrored designs, elements against frosted fields. The remaining 10 main coins in the silver proof set that are San Francisco strikes with the Roosevelt dime, five America the Beautiful dollars, and Kennedy half dollar will be struck in three nines fine silver instead of the previous 90% silver, 10% copper composition. The 20 coin uncirculated mint set, which includes 10 coins from each of the Denver and Philadelphia mints, will have as its premium as the 21st coin in the set, a 2019 Lincoln cent with uncirculated finish. Pricing for the uh, silver proof set, an uncirculated mint set with premiums has not been announced. Johnson said, the mint is in the process of photographing examples of the three West Point cents, but no images were available for release as of uh, the uh, February 25th, which was yesterday. So very interesting indeed, and uh, but is it really all that interesting? You know, reverse proof, I guess it'll be a first time for those that are collectors to add these to the Lincoln uh, scent collections, but I was kind of hoping that the, um, you know, there would have been an un uh, enhanced uncirculated version for the uncirculated set, but even so, it does have some finishes on it, and I guess in some degree it does make sense that they would be an uncirculated West Point minted Lincoln scent. The other thing, that's interesting is that uh, these particular coins are not, there's no mention of the composition of these. Um, the, what is it? 2.5% zinc and, uh, or 90, 98 some percent zinc and 2.5% copper is a standard. So my guess that will still be the case for these. And it's unfortunate because I, my feeling is, is that for all proof sets, they should use 95% copper and 5% zinc. The previous uh, um, use of or, or composition of scents that was used in 1982 and prior, but maybe those planches are a little bit difficult to get by. As I mentioned in a prior video about 
this uh, year being the first year that they're using three nines fine silver planchets, maybe it's much more expensive to acquire the owner uh, planchets um, and not enough to justify special orders for proof sets. Uh, the other thing I will kind of make a note of that I mentioned earlier about the why the the American innovation dollar coins aren't being included in these sets. You know, it is somewhat unfortunate, but it could be a reason. And I'm going to speculate here that perhaps uh, since they were, the dollar coins were included in prior year sets, um, <clears throat> that, you know, for the prior years, in other words, the presidential dollar series, is that for the first time, this series is completely out of circulation. In other words, they're not intended for circulation. They never will be. Whereas the Sacagawea dollars, even though the design changes every year, they're being included because they're a continuum of a previous, previously circulated coin. The same thing with the half dollars. The half dollars were previously circulated coins, but none of those are intended for circulation, but it is part of the same series. And so they will probably make proof sets for the 2019 uh, American Innovation coins at a later date to be included in a separate set because they're not, con not considered proof version of circulating coins or previously circulated coins. Um, but that's sort of a side note. Let me know what you think about that um, situation or, and what are your thoughts about the United States Mint uh, producing these sort of off-year uh, anniversary coins. Nowhere in this article does it say that it's because of the 210th anniversary of the of Abraham Lincoln's birth, but I can't think of any other reason why they would do this um, other than it's a it's a premium as as a premium for the 11th coin. In other words, they are charging a little extra for this, um, but you know what? Why would why create these extra sets other than to uh, somehow commemorate? A, an important event. In this case, it'd be the 210th anniversary of the birth of Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president. But again, I find it a little bit odd that they would pick uh, such strange, um, you know, anniversary years. The 2009, we had the four coin uh, commemorative Lincoln cents that were minted um, in 95% in, uh, copper, 2% or not 5% zinc. And they were in proof and uncirculated condition. They were included, obviously, in, in all the sets, but also as a separate set. Nice, attractive coins. Uh, perfect to do it for the 200th anniversary. Ten years later, they're doing these. And, of course, they will have the shield design on the reverse of them. One proof, one reverse proof, and then one uncirculated with the W mint mark. So very fascinating indeed. And uh, who knows? You know, my feeling is that we have entered a new era with the United States Mint, and this may be part of David Ryder's uh, call to excite collectors. And even though this is a very small thing um, and a little bit strange, there are some limitations that the the U.S. Mint direct the U.S. Mint director has in choosing programs like this, um, because he is relative. For the most part, they're bound by Congress for any new coins that might be released. And uh, so my guess is he's pulling out of the cookie jar, so to speak, anything that he can find uh, that could possibly excite collectors and maybe increase sales and, uh, and possibly increase uh, excitement in the collector community. Most of us that watch this channel, um, you know, aren't as excited about this. Uh, I know I'm not terribly excited about it. Um, we mostly collect precious metal coins. And uh, what would really be nice as if they did him silver, but I don't think he can do that. I don't think that he, there might be a mandate by Congress that prevents him from doing these in silver, but boy, that would definitely excite many in the community here. Uh, the other thing I want to know is since this, these are going to be issued in these sets, is will they do a special ex separate set of these in a lens of these three coins, both uncirculated um, or all three uncirculated reverse proof and proof, and maybe add a fourth. And this fourth coin could possibly be the enhanced uncirculated, or like with the uh, with the half dollar enhanced reverse proof, um, you know, or enhanced proof version, which was kind of a 
It, it really didn't uh, pass that test in my view, but nonetheless, there it is. So post your thoughts about all these things. It does raise a lot of questions and the possibilities that could be coming uh, this year from the, United, from the United States Mint. I want to thank uh, Silver Wolverine again and another member for uh, emailing me about the the story. What are your thoughts? I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.